everyone, this is Jun Biao from University Putra, Malaysia, and today I am going to talk about the life cycle assessment of a table. I hope everyone enjoyed my video. This video contained five sections which are introduction, life cycle assessment, impacts, suggestions, and special things. What is table? Table is an item of furniture with a flat top and one or more legs, used as a surface for working it, eating from or on which to place things types of table bedside table, work table, dining table, kitchen table, dressing table, round table, end table, changing table, billiard table, folding table, tennis table, chess table, credence table, desk, conference table, bar table, refectory table, accent, table, coffee table, drum table, lawyer table, up table, the history of the table, some very early tables were made and used by the ancient Egyptians around 2500 BC. Using wood and alabaster, the Chinese also created very early tables in order to pursue the arts of writing and painting, as did people in Mesopotamia. Where various metals were used, refectory tables first appeared at least as early as the 17th century, as an advancement of the trestle table. These tables were typically quite long and wide and capable of supporting a sizable banquet in the great hall or other reception room of a castle. The most of the table surface is made from wood, glass, metal. The most of the table legs is made from metal rubber. Life cycle assessment of the wood. The first step is to harvest the wood from the tree. Then the wood will be cut into different shapes and sizes based on type of table will build after that will be the wood boards seasoned removing excessive water. The next step is to packing the parts well and ship to the customer. Most table can last between 30 to 70 years depending how well it is maintained when a table reaches the end of its life. Most of its materials are recycled depending on condition of the wood. If the wood is rotten, it is threw away. Where does wood go? If the wood is rotten it is thrown into a landfill, where it can be decomposed back into the environment. If the wood still in good it will be recycled and reused. The desk itself can be fixed or reused, the components can be used for other desks, and the leftover wood can use for other items, like paper. The Life Cycle of the Rubber 1. Sourcing of Raw Materials Natural rubber is extracted by hand using a process called tapping. Tapping involves making an incision on alternating sides of the tree and allowing the sap to fill up. Bucket 2. Manufacturing, processing and formulation The sap is taken to a nearby factory to be filtered, hardened and mixed with additives which extends product life and makes it malleable. The rubber is then poured to size, heated, called, cut and packed. 3. Transportation and distribution The finished products are packaged and sent via ship or plane to our warehouses. As a provider of rubber bands, we only buy and sell our products in bulk limiting the amount of fossil fuel needed for distribution. 4. Use and reuse rubber bands can be used throughout many industries such as the office, packaging, flour, food and agricultural industries. After the initial use, rubber bands can be reused many times until it wears out and breaks. 5. Waste management. Once the band finally breaks dot you can discard the band in your general waste bin for it to be taken to landfill, where it will biodegrade. 
life cycle of metal, we can get the raw materials, which known as the metal ore, by surface mining. Then the metal ore will be transport to the factory for further process. After smelting and melting, it will form to the shapes that we want. Then the final product will ship to market to sell. After several years of use, it will be discarded or maybe be recycled. Figures. Metal production requires large inputs of coke, a sort of coal, which is extremely damaging to the environment. Coke ovens emit air pollution such as naphthalene that is highly toxic and can cause cancer. Steel requires about 20 gigajoules of energy per ton produced. Three quarters of the energy comes from burning coal wastewater from the coking process is also highly toxic and contains a number of carcinogenic organic compounds as well as cyanide, sulfides. Ammonium and ammonia, on average, 1.83 tons of CO2 is emitted for every ton of steel produced making steel production a major contributor to global warming adding over 3, 3 million tons annually to global emissions. Life cycle of glass is almost same as the metal so I will not explain too much. Impact Assessment 1 Energy Resource Consumption Electricity used for machines in the factory Fossil fuel for transportation process energy constitutes a significant portion of the cost of steel production From 20% to 40% to Cause climate change carbon dioxide 78% methane 11% ozone depletion particulate matter 17% 3. Generate waste soiled waste comprises various residues from the raw materials. Provision, manufacturing, usage, and product retirement phases waste generated per person per day averages 0.5. 7.4 kg but ranges widely from 0.11 to 4.54 kg form. Land use affects it will cause forest damage, erosion, soil contamination and alteration of soil profiles, lose of wildlife habitat, global tree cover loss increased from an average of 17 1 million hectares per year in the 2000s to 23.1 million hectares in the 2010s 5. Human health issues immune system suppression, cataracts cancer dermatologic effects and reproductive effects. Suggestion 1. Increase the energy use efficiency use more sustainable renewable energy such as solar power, wind power, hydrogen power to reduce the energy consumption during production and transportation to eco-design strategy. Eco-design strategies are crucial to reduce the inherent environmental burdens associated with a product 3. Well maintains maintain the table well so it could use as longer as it could be. If there is less need, there is less demand. Special thanks I am here to special thanks to Dr. Amir Hamza Sharai. Thanks for giving me chance to do the research on the life cycle assessment of a product. I really learned a lot knowledge and skills according to this research. In the future I can live more rational and sustainable.